Okay. In the previous uh, little section of this series, we covered the game mode and the game state. What we're going to be doing in this one is covering the player state. Now, as you can kind of assume by the names, a game state and a player state are kind of used in the same fashion. However, they're for the actual individual players. So to give you an example, what you would have on the player state would be things that are unique to them. So let's say, okay, so like I discovered, well, I mentioned with the other uh, game state example, we use team deathmatch for that. So in the game state, we would keep the total amount of kills on the game state for each team and replicate those variables. So that way we could just easily go to the game state, say, okay, player team, player A, ha I mean, team A has this many uh, kills and team B has this many kills. Let's go ahead and take that information and add them to the, our widget, for example, so we can see the score of each team. Now let's say, now let's move on to how we would use that same kind of functionality in the player state. So a player state, we would use it for that player's kills. So let's say player one shoots player two and kills them. We would, whenever that happens, we would get access to our player state of player one and increment a replicated variable on it that just stores his total amount of kills. So that way other clients know how many kills that that player got. So player states exist on the client and the server and they also exist on all of them. So this character right here will have a player state. Well, it doesn't right now because we haven't created and set that up yet. And this player here will have a player state. This player here will have a player state and so on. So that's um, about as best of uh, an explanation I can really give right now without showing an example, but it should, it should be pretty clear. And anyhow, what we're going to be doing in the next video for the implementation portion is we are going to, instead of doing what we do on the game state, where we calculate, well, we count how many hits we have on other players. So when we shoot another player, our total hits go up for everybody. We're going to have, we're going to store our shots fired. So every time we shoot, we want that information to be updated, well, added and updated on our player state. So we can see, okay, player one has shot this many bullets. Player two has shot this many bullets and so on. So it will be different for each player. Or we can actually even use what we have right now. Actually, this will be better. Let's do individual player hits. I think that'll be a better way to tell the difference between the two. So here we have our total hits. So that's everybody in the server. So anytime anyone shoots anybody, this variable goes up. Let's uh, we'll do the exact same thing, but on the player state. So we can see, okay, player one has shot this many, or well, has hit this many players out of the total hits. So we'll do that. Anyhow, uh, that's just, yeah, that's what we're gonna end up doing. So that'll be done in the next video. And this was just the quick little explanation portion. So actually, let's go ahead and create the uh, player state in this. C++ classes, public, right click, new C++ class, just search for player state. Here we have it. And let's just call it, well, yeah, just my player state and create the class because I'm tired of typing in the, no, the long names like beginner multiplayer game state base gets annoying. So we'll just set this up and compile it and we'll be done. So we have our game mode here. We can go ahead and get rid of that. We want our projectile to still be open and we want our player state and our character.cpp like so. So we have our, let's do these in order. So we're gonna go from the character to the projectile from the projectile to the player state, and we no longer need our game state. So character, projectile, and player state. So let's just do the basic stuff of creating the constructor and we will be done.
well for this video. All right, let's give it a compile. I got to relaunch the editor. And if, assuming it's successful, we will start with the next video. Alrighty, we are good to go. So, like I said, in the next video, we're going to be tallying up and replicating the individual player hits. So, I will see you in that one. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description below. And if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord server. That's also linked down there. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Take care.